You know, not that long ago, the Bay Shoreline was littered with the remnants of a once thriving salt business, an industry that replaced natural marshlands with salt-producing ponds and the pollution that came with them. But there has been much progress to reclaim that precious resource. ABC 7's Lee Glasser reports from an event today at the western edge of the Dumbarton Bridge that highlights the progress. Today is a feast rather than a fight. After seven years of fighting and $100 million in funding, Senator Dianne Feinstein says the completion of the first phase of the Bay Salt Pond Restoration Project is a milestone in preserving the health of the Bay. I have come to really believe that this Bay is the destiny of the San Francisco Bay Area and to return this Bay to the wetlands that had existed is an imperative. Imperative to return this once lush natural habitat back to its original healthy state. Thousands of shorebirds are expected to begin nesting here this fall. The first two cells have 30 nesting islands and are being managed for shallow water foraging habitat. The third cell will remain dry in the summer and we expect it will attract snowy plovers. Yeah. Shall we cut the ribbon? Yeah. All right. The 237-acre site open today is Restoration Pond SF2. It's located on the south edge of the Dumbarton Bridge and is part of the 16,000 acres the state bought from Cargill Salt in 2003. The purchase was a collaborative effort between government and private businesses. The Obama administration praises the project as a benefit to nature and mankind. We see this uh, all around the country, that healthy natural resources are important for a healthy economy. Millions of people are dependent upon this, not just for recreation and for the kind of intangible uh, attributes, but for things like improving water quality through capture of storm water. By the end of the year, another 4,000 acres extending north to Napa will be restored. The area today also includes walking trails and overlooks perfect viewing for what will be flying in. Lee Glasser, ABC 7 News.